So why did you come here to interview me? Miss Cast, right. Do I need to know any of the questions in advance or no? Okay. Well, I'm Jenna Ryan and I'm one of the directors for Miss Cast. Miss Cast is a production that's put on by Tups that has kind of become a tradition over the years. It is a collection of songs from musicals that we compile together and put on on one production. What makes it especially unique though is the casting. We cast people directly against their typecast, which gives it kind of a comedy element to the show. I am directing this show this year with Jaja, who is, to put in best terms, a very interesting person to be directing with. <laughs> we have this bet going to see who can make the most difficult choreography for their number, and she's taking it a bit too seriously. I've never seen so many actors come crying to me asking to be pulled from their production. Honestly, I find it quite amusing. As a director, I really wanted to highlight my dance experience, and so I took on some of the harder numbers for choreography. I don't think I've made the choreography that hard. Honestly, it's pretty easy. Some people. Some people just don't get it. I don't get why. Jaja is making me do all this jumping and twirling and dancing, and I've literally had bronchitis for the past month. Like, I cannot breathe. How do you expect me to dance? <laughs> One thing I cannot stand about Jaja is she decided to use the movie choreography from Matilda in Revolting Children. All my cast does is do that dance 24 seven during rehearsal while I see them out walking around Trinity, even in the store I saw someone doing it. I can't stand it. Yeah, I think the biggest challenge so far during this rehearsal process is definitely the fact that none of our actors know how to properly dance or properly sing. I mean, we had to bring in specialists just to help them out. Rehearsal was a lot of fun. We improved quite a bit. Um, but I did have to give a twerking lesson. The Adams Family has no riz, seriously. Like, no one could twerk. It was a little bit pathetic, but we've gotten a lot better. The directors made them twerk. I, I've never been more scarred in my life. The stunts? Let me tell you about the stunts. You know, I signed up to dance, not to be their little plaything. My knees, I've fallen on. 20 times so far. Can't believe how bad they are. Like, it's honestly surprising. I was told it was gonna be something, but this was worse than I was expecting. A little too loud. I mean, could tone it down a bit, like trying to upstage the other people who are probably more center stage, but eh, yeah, I don't know. It's gotten a little better with the time that I put in, but it's still tragic. Man, I forgot how dramatic theater kids can be. I mean, the smallest issue gets blown out of proportion during rehearsals. And don't even get me started on the singing competitions. Cole? She thinks he's so good, but when he sings, he sounds like, like a tone-deaf bobblehead. You should stick to improv. You know, I gotta, I gotta say something about Thomas specifically. I really admire Thomas. For this number, we're supposed to be bitchy, and Thomas is getting into character. like. It feels like he really hates me, and I just need to get that energy myself, you know? I, I don't feel like I'm there yet. These two think that they have a feud, but they don't even know that they're not important in the number. You know, I think they just went way overboard with the choreography. I mean, between me, Thomas, and Aaron, we got like two brain cells. A three-part harmony with choreography in the background, it just doesn't add up. You sound stupid. You're in my chair, get out. Yeah, come on, let's go. <sighs> Any more questions? No, people are showing up to rehearsal fine. But lately the cast has been coming up with this lame excuse called vocal rest for why they don't have to sing. Like, no, you're fine, sing the damn song. Erin's on vocal rest. She's been on vocal rest for what? Two days in a row? Two days? What? Vocal rest? Her priorities are not where they should be. Oh, I mean, that's pretty good. But I'm on vocal rest. And like, I don't know, she keeps asking me to say. I'm like, I can't say anything. Like, I'm gonna protect this. This is my instrument. This is what I'm at school for. 
So like, I need this, you know, there's priorities. My favorite number, let's see. Ooh, definitely Manor Muppet because those Muppets adore me. I could care less if the actors show up who needs them? The Muppets, they know where their priorities are and they show up every single day and they worship me and I love it. Oh, Gemma's late again. Oh. Oh. Like, how would I like... Hello, can I help you? Um, I was looking for Gemma. She's uh, late to rehearsal. Yeah, no, she's not here. Oh, Hi. my bad. Rehearsals are going pretty well. Uh, Gemma's missed a couple. She's a little, she's a little bit of an airhead. Gemma's great though. Yeah. I was literally gone once because I discovered I was allergic to apples. They said what? I'm a great director. Unlike Zsa, Zsa I will do whatever it takes to make sure the musical number turns out perfectly. Just the way I want it. Jenna is the best director. She really takes care of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, last week I got the choreography wrong and I found a dead rat in my room. It's okay, that's what it's like working with Jenna. I think I've got it. Jenna's been so lovely the entire time. I don't know that I understand the question. The crew? What about them? They don't do anything, they're irrelevant. I thought this interview was about me. Fucking God, uh, she had the balls to ask me, someone who works with plastic to touch wood. No, 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 I can't. She wanted me to make the stupid fucking mirror thing for man or Muppet. My skills require, uh, you know, a lot more advanced notice before, you know, I touch anything. And when I touch it, it is blessed by God. So for her to have the fucking stones to come to me and just ask me to work on this bullshit. I am so tired. I'm doing five people's jobs. Um, the costume designer and maker. Lighting, technical directing, choreographer, and performer. And they're requiring me, I don't know why, they're requiring me to do flips. I got in this thinking I was just gonna do a little jig, do a little dance. No, I'm stuck against my will. I'm so glad that I was able to direct Miss Cast this year. That has been such a fun experience thanks to the amazing cast and crew. And I wanna thank them for putting in all the hard work during this production. I'm so excited for you to see their talents during the production, which is gonna be performed March 24th and 25th at 8 p.m. in Laurie Auditorium. Hope to see you there.